Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. We're going to be tailor, tailoring this fighter for not only low sec, uh, but high sec. Uh, this is the new fit. Um, still thinking about this nanofiber. Uh, the thinking was uh, sacrifice uh, hull for speed. Um, if I go into overdrive, um, I've got a thousand. Now if I don't have that, it's 958. Just a wee bit more. But I'm seriously deciding that, you know what? Why don't we try... I was hoping to use bulkhead. But that's a, that's a tale for another, another part of this video. I originally, for years, I've had a, a fit that was active uh, for, for when I go AFK and I come back and, and I've got warning, warning alerts and there's a dog pile of amateur pirates on me on one side of a low sec gate trying to gank me and I'd hit upon this fit back before Terracide of, uh, shields, um, actually the Asiatropic is now equal in, uh, shield strength as, uh, an F. S9. Pretty interesting. I've always liked the Federation. It's cheap and it's fast. So I was thinking overheat, get back to gate quick. And I was thinking, okay, I need speed. I totally need speed. If I'm in the hall, I'm probably going to be dead already, blah, blah, blah. Uh, vast majority of low sick pirates will dogpile on you and not have somebody out of the, out of the side of the gate because they want to they want a whore on an AFK, you know. That's my usual problem in the low sec. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this fit will work regardless of whether I'm in. Am I, can I switch into... Whoops, no, um, sorry to amulet. Probably test if I can do that. Give me a sec. I'll see if I can just jump out of... Erg. Too many ships. Leave ship. Yada yada. Yeah, the thinking was get back to gate. Um, but when I'm not AFK, I breeze by low sec Genesis uh, gate camps, uh, and I don't need to say anything because this is a friendly greeting in Russian. I don't know what it means, but it means something. Got it from uh, a translation guide. With, tongue-in-cheek translation guide. Um, all my ships have different uh, greetings in Russian. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Um, yeah, pretty much bulletproof in uh, low sec. It's hard to get me. Uh, yeah, Viders are great, love them. All right, so I'll jump in here and see if we can actually fit. Yeah, see, totally, and that is the FS9 compact, and I, and since it's the same shield strength as the Asiatropic now, I'm like, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Put that in. Come on. Oh, <laughs> sexy um and you know if if you're in low sec and you're afk and and you're trying to get back to the gate you've lost most your shields anyways so going overheat on an active is just silly compared to say having a relatively cheap five million the tech two is 53 percent you know and i think i have level five I must. EM, she, ooh, look at that. <laughs> hey. Damn. Yeah, totally want that. <laughs> I can't believe I don't have that. That's hilarious. Bet all my other characters have it. Uh, uh, coming to Jesus about mining drones, actually. Now that I know that... Uh, Drones won't react to uh, PvP interactions automatically, so 
Yeah. Alright. Augmentations. Uh, I would probably use this on a Jita run with my uh, with my uh, with my deep space transport demeanor minor have you have a heck yes I think it's meaner I don't know uh, and yeah um this is proof against EMP fired from tornadoes so hey don't know how many tornadoes I could tank but I'm thinking you know what this is pretty good I like it unfortunately I could you can't shove a expanded even it, it takes way more even a sister's expanded you can't shove one in there so it's like ah oh, drat okay fair enough so there you go and you can see if I've got a mid-grade these are slaves by the way I guess slaves were two races for min matters <laughs> all right all right and main jumped into that oops no so I'll just show you the difference in the in armor there I wonder how much that is EHP 25 jump yes 23 so 2000 freighter yes dsd yes batter not so much i yeah if i'm <laughs> if i'm getting <laughs> if if i need a tank against tornadoes in jita i'm doing something wrong yeah i i no longer roll the dice and just simply press dock it on the Jita station. I warp to a safe spot inside the dock ring and hit and, and hit autopilot as I'm on route. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they just like rolling the dice on uh, seeing what's inside a pinata fighter. Alright. So that's proof if I accidentally do get shot at by one biter. Don't know if it's two. I have to test on singularity, but it's uh, offline right now. I'll check again. I keep checking every day. Um, so here we go. Uh, what if I get rid of that? I mean, it's overheated. It's still almost a thousand anyways. And I'm not losing that much. I want to put in, I truly want to put in a, uh, a bulkhead, but I'm pretty sure it'll slow me down. And, and bulkheads will lower my, uh, cargo space, but I got cargo expanders if I need them. So why not, right? And now that I have this handy dandy small cargo container inside my <laughs> inside my um, fighter, I can have all my refits in there and not accidentally um, transfer them to a station and leave the station with when you know when you unload your cargo, you unload your cargo expenders accidentally and where are they so small cargo container inside a vider saves you a lot of tears i swear because we all do it don't we all right so back to reality here uh pull upgrades reinforced bulkheads what's it okay it's Ninety-six. A third of a second. And it doesn't affect speed. It'll lower your my cargo, but I'm okay with that. I got my cargo expanders. Liking that a lot. Yeah. So that's my new fit.
a thousand more bulkheads got that uh, warp course stab that'll be proof against one point one long point but not a scram certainly not a fax and scram but yeah you do what you can right I wish tech 2 would give you two points of warp course uh, you know oh it's a it, I really don't need the it's a your tech 2 is not going to give you two points it literally I'll show you I talked to a lot of noobs and they're like tech 2 will give you double no just minus one warp scramble strength that's it and they sure I they love yeah this is not counter against a warp scrambler this is just counter against one uh, warp disruptor or one warp point uh, warp scramblers give out two points so yeah anyway so it's just one just like just like any other warp core step so yeah and I don't have to target anything so whoop de doo put in that just for the hell of it why not right I could put in tech 2 it wouldn't matter it's a bit more expense that's it but uh, yeah I'm OCD okay so that is it I'll post the uh, the link uh, and uh, I'll, yeah I'll post it I'll post the link with the slaves just in case you guys are interested in comparing what it would look like on your character uh, it probably doesn't have slaves just for hauling around so, uh, everything just open that again just to make sure there we go and uh, will be important There's nothing really important to highlight. I wonder if how much I would get if it nah, the expense of a mechanic eight oh five and the hull upgrades, you know. H D O five it's two percent, right? But uh mid grade, yeah. I'm sure there's a way to get high grade and then low grades for these. Uh, these two, Epsilon and Omega, and then high grade for the Alpha. Possibly get away with that for cheapness. Definitely recommend looking into that. Uh, might be worth your time. But anyways, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for listening.